Welcome to the Bad Movie Night Podcast, covering the worst movies you've never seen. We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night Podcast. Welcome back to the Bad Movie Night Podcast. My name is Chris, and tonight it is my birthday a couple weeks ago, but I got to choose the movie tonight, and of course I chose the 1994 <laughs> action sci-fi movie that is Death Machine. Death Machine. Order into chaos. Way of the world. That title sequence is so cool. So the melting cool. Metal. We will get into it. AJ, are you teasing me right now? Oh, no. He's teasing you. No. Oh. What? Me? Your audio sounds good now. I hate Shut you so fuck fucking up. much. I hate you so much the way you gaslight me. All- it's coming back. It sounds awful again. Never <laughs> Does wrong. it really? Yeah, I don't I, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going it's on. Awful. Guys, it's we're back. Oh, we, no. are ba- we are back, okay? Two weeks in a row. Consecutive weeks, I believe is what that's called, where Record. everyone has shown up. Oh. Spibs in a suit. I don't know why. <laughs> it's great. Some I, of us I work for a living. Oh uh, well. <laughs> he doesn't even have a tie on. He probably does nice. the least amount of work out of all of us and gets paid the most <laughs> doing it. <laughs> probably, uh, probably, probably likely. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably pretty accurate. Yeah. Probably so, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Pretty <laughs> accurate. Um but uh what we were talking about in the pre-show was numerous things. You and miss. the one thing that came up was AJ Taxes? naked bowling. Yes, that's what oh. I said. Naked bowling is back, naked baby. Bowling. It's back. The nudists in Pitt, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, have decided that it is now time to bowl in the nude. This Why? is a thing. This is a thing, Lindsay. Why? Oh, you used to wear the shoes, much, though, right? You like flopping. You have to wear the shoes. You gotta wear the shoes. It's a safety concern, Aaron. Yeah, you don't want to. What if you trip and fall, and you just your ball sack just slides across the floor? Like, <laughs> I feel like if I trip and fall, my ball sack's gonna slide across the floor anyways, right? I assume there's well, hygiene clothing rules. Right? There's, there's gotta be hygiene it's, rules. What do you mean by hygiene rules? Like people have to be, like shower before they show up and stuff, and like clip their like, toenails. Do you have to and, wipe you know. your, the chair down when you're done? <laughs> yeah, like there has to be like sanitation, oh, no. right? You know, they have like the, the little they have a little vent to dry your hand. Yeah. yeah, you put your test. You just have to stand over that. Floor. There you go. There you go. <sighs> Do you think if everyone was naked, it would smell worse in places? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I really mean, awful smell. Imagine your heating bill because yeah. it'd be so yeah. cold. You'd have to turn the heat up more and like. Mm. But if you're if you're a dirty person, <laughs> aren't your clothes just dirty? There's a shrinkage. <laughs> Why, why, why are you so interested in this? Yeah, are you trying to tell us something about your... It's okay if you are. Are you, are you a nude bowler? Are you a nudist? I'm Actually, not. I could totally pin are Chris as right a nude now? bowler. You could <laughs> pin me. You could pin me. I got your joke there. I am not a nude bowler. No. I would. I could be a dabbler. I could dabble. You could in dabble in the gutters a little? Bowling uh, a little bit. <laughs> Wait, the nude I... part of the bowling part? You know, all the above. Uh, ABC. Yeah. Just, just all of the check, above. It, check it all off for there for me. I'm down. I'm DTB. Down to bowl, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Naked or not, I don't know if it would improve my skills. It's like the thing DTBWN, of it is. DTBWN, down to bowl I, while I, nude. I, I honestly think it would improve my bowling skills. Get because bowling. when I get up there and, I, and the crowd is watching <laughs> and they're all mm-hmm. eyes are on me in clothes... Mm-hmm. I go through my head like so many thoughts about how I'm going to bowl this and all that shit. But if I was naked, 
I would just be thinking, well, everybody's looking at my ass and balls, and now I'm very yeah, self-conscious but, but now, about that, and I would bowl without the but thought But now they're of commenting the on your body while you also bowl very poorly. <laughs> Aaron, I'm, like the worst I'm willing the worst. to take the L on the body if it means my bowling score goes up, Me son. too, because I bowl like a 90. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I lose interest after the third like, time like, of like throwing the stupid ball. If I bowl with clothes on, I'm at like a 45. If I bowl naked, I'm at like a 200. Easy. Oh. <laughs> He's getting that turkey for sure. That oh, that oh, turkey's yeah. coming out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anyways. We, right, we, we, just got, we just got one, AJ. AJ, AJ. I know, but if you go to YouTube, there's like a lot more. They're oh. not like coming uh, through. Uh-oh. Well, what, what, <laughs> DTPN. What, 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 about, uh, what about like pickleball? It must be my mod- audio issue. Oh, don't get me started <laughs> on pickleball, for God's sakes. Are you doing that nude too? Nude pickleball? So I've never pickleballed. Me either. I haven't done a lot of things naked though. In high school. Yeah. Like, I, what about just like <laughs> pumping have my you, gas? Have you, you walked to the, the nice walked to the refrigerator naked, Chris? <laughs> yeah, I've walked to the refrigerator naked. Yeah. I wasn't proud of it in the moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I was like, What'd you get out of the fridge? Probably just something to add to my gluttonous nature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like ice cream or something? It's I don't funny. know. That's where he keeps his special lotions. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. There, yeah, I haven't. I haven't done a lot of nude stuff. Yeah. Well, so it's interesting. The time. It is it, interesting. I feel mm-hmm. like the thing that's the beautiful thing of it is, is once you expose yourself, and everybody does, mm-hmm. you see flaws and all, and we accept each other for who we are. Because we see everything. Yeah, there's, there's no there's flaws. Then there's, there's no being 100 pounds overweight. There's, there's no. no that's not the same. I've been. Not I've been same. to like a nude beach. Yeah. Yeah. In Jamaica, and nobody. Nobody cares. Yeah. That nobody I cares. Care, but that's it. the beach. I know. I know. But yeah. but I'm just saying. Like everybody's naked. No. Everyone's got their own hangups. Nobody's worried. Exactly. About, yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody mm-hmm. cares. See? And now with this clothing thing, people are eyeing me down like, what's he got <laughs> under there? Is that boy packing some There's, of them? It leaves some mystery. It leaves some mystery. I, I like the mystery element. <laughs> well, of course, we all love the mystery because because the mystery is just like in anything. You build it up in your mind to be something great. Mm. And then when you see the reality, it can be disappointing. <laughs> Story of my life, right? <laughs> Anyways, I feel like we, of the family. <laughs> I feel like we've uh, <laughs> well, that's enough banter. We, we've right? bantered long enough. All right, long AJ. Enough. AJ, can you muster up with your terrible audio quality the ability to tell us what the 1994 sci-fi action movie Death Machine is about? I will try, Chris. Okay. <clears throat> When a crazed tech inventor played by Brad Dorf gets his hands on unlimited assets. I want all your assets. And your underwear. I need he tests underwear. out his killer robot on the corporate execs. <laughs> My motherboard. <laughs> Will he be able to slash their profit margins? And their faces. <laughs> or will he be forced out the door? I'm a weird, yeah. creepy incel. <laughs> Find out in the 1994 Kill Fest action extravaganza. That is Death Machine. Death Machine. Chomp, 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 chomp. Rated R because it's too awesome to handle and you couldn't handle it because it's rated R. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> AJ, that was great. Nice job, AJ. And before we get into the discussion of the movie, we will say that there's multiple versions of this movie. Some of us have watched oh, both. Some of shit. us have watched the extended cut. Some of us mm-hmm. watched the 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 I don't know the regular it's cut. Yeah, yeah I guess. Where do you go from there? <laughs> Where do you go from there? But to weird baby getting their arms cut off in uh, garbage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which oh yeah! Is what was cut from the movie for some reason? What? Yeah. Oh, that yeah. was in the director's cut. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we'll get into it and some weird that rapey that stuff as well. Sorry, yes. I missed that. Oh, but <laughs> they, Boy. they built a whole set for it, which was badass. It was mm-hmm. pretty sweet. Yeah, and they threw a, t- a teddy bear down that thing. They Anyways, did. we'll get into all that because I do have a lot to talk about with garbage disposals. Uh, <laughs> oh God! Reminds me of Richard Grieco. Yes. The trash compactor in space movie. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That and Wish Upon is. I want to be with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wish Upon. Wish Upon. Yeah. Wish Upon's great. Wish Upon's great. That's a movie we should cover on this show. I love that movie. Yeah, I guess we could. So right. Stupid. It's awful. It's got dumpster diving daddies and shit. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> That's a cool <laughs> band name. Ryan yeah, Phillippe. Yo, what up, <laughs> like dumpster a diving like daddies? Ryan but we're like from New York, so we're we'll, 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 we'll being a band here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that how it goes? Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> 
<laughs> We're the I'm dumpster diving you. daddies. I'm slapping the base here. Uh, hey, hey. hey. The Anyways, uh, AJ, that was great. Time to move on. Do the all history we all hole know. You section. Wish your dad was a bony guy. <laughs> 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 all right. Would you care to elaborate on that, Aaron? <laughs> it's a comment that came in. Paul Lilienthal, long-term, long-term. long-term viewer interactor of the show. Said, oh. Skeleton Man. I wish Skeleton Man was oh. my dad. I don't know why he's bringing that up again. Because he's it's going to let it go. It could have been good. Because Skeleton Man has, has, he's got spunk. And that's something you want in your dad. Just not have a garbage disposal. I'm telling you, that's the movie <laughs> nope. we remake, man. <laughs> I want to, nope. Anyways, <laughs> guys, along. guys, we got to We got to move. Right. On. We got hard men to talk about tonight, right, Spiv? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're going to get yes. into. But first. <laughs> We gotta do Aaron's history hole. Speaking of hard men, let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow. oh All righty then, folks. Jack Parkins. And Parkins. There he is. Oh my god. The man, the legend. Yes. I can Top hold men. it. I can hold it. <laughs> That was a role made for Dan Haggerty, though. It, was. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> I can see that. Damn, that cover <laughs> artwork is you badass, good, though. It's so fucking cover cool. Artwork. I know, that, that, the artwork's amazing. That one, so that's the original cover artwork. There's also this kind of one modern one, modern take on it. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. not that's, as cool. That's it's not just not as cool. It makes him look like more. Norman Reedus. Oh, from my yeah. God, he does. Yeah, does. Yeah, right? Kind of does. He's and we, we got a definite xenomorph influence there, Chris. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, chomp, that's chomp, why we chomp, watch this chomp, movie, chomp. of course. <laughs> Chris loves xenomorphs. Who and... does? Chris loves xenomorphs? Yep. Do we not all Chris. love the xenomorph? I do, too. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, pretty, yeah, great. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty great. Pretty great. So this movie, Death Machine, was released first on the, in the Stockholm <laughs> Film Festival in November 1994. Ooh, All right, yeah. you know what that means. Sweden. <laughs> in Sweden, it was uh, released in the United States. The video premiere was November fourteenth, nineteen ninety-five. So a year later, straight to video. Could not find anything about budget for this movie. Although I will say, in Canada, the French part in Quebec, Quebec, Quebec. it was called Cyber Connections. Cyber Connection. That's dumb. Hmm. Hmm. Those yeah. Canadians. They're questionable with some things. Yep. Our director for this masterpiece is Stephen Norrington. Do you know do you know him from anything, Chris? <gasps> mm. Blade. Yes, that is correct. So many of them. And so this, uh, the Extraordinary Gentleman. The <laughs> League of Extraordinary <laughs> Gentlemen. Yes, AJ. Dude, oh, really? Call back. <laughs> I don't know how you missed that. I went on that a, I went on a little. Yeah, I went on I'm a little. I'm your bad movie now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's one we could watch, honestly. You are the... I You're would watch that. Machine now, yeah. dog. I, I went on a Stephen that. Norrington like deep dive because yeah. I was like, why didn't this guy do anything else? I know he did the League of Extraordinary, and I guess like that ruined his career or uh, he made him up, not want to do it. No, I guess him and Sean Connery fought. Yeah, oh, really? It's like, like oh, it came to blows. blows. Yeah. Wow. That was Sean Connery's last movie. Yeah. Yeah. Because Stephen Norrington quit. killed him. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. like, I want you to be a death machine, Sean. <laughs> but he's he's like huge with special effects and practical effects. Like he's yeah. worked on tons like and tons aliens. of classic big big special effects movies. I've never seen that. I kind of want to watch it. Looks never seen fun. what. League of uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Let's yeah. do it. It's such a cool idea. It's a shame it was so bad. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, the stills look cool as hell. Yeah, all the effects are great. Let's, Let's do it. Get story. it on the wheel. Yeah, we get at it. Connery well, after ruining, wild, wild ruining wild another West. franchise like you did Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Highlander too. <laughs> I slapped your career. <laughs> 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 yes, this guy's this guy is primarily known for uh, special effects. Um, he did alien creature effects for Alien Three. Oh shit! Um, he did creature effects design for Split Second. He was the mm. robotics technician for Hardware. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Um, he was in, the, in this movie. The effects crew for Aliens. Um, you know, uh, Exorcist: The Beginning it was like 2004 film. Um, c- creature crew for Harbinger Down. Harbinger, Harbinger Down. Harbinger, 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 Harbinger Down. Down. Harbinger Down was they took the uh, Lance Hendrickson. Well, but they took all the stuff that they were going to use on the Thing prequel. 
which oh. had like oh, were, really it was the same really? studio or the same mm. visual effects house and then they used that on that harbinger down really because, really because all the uh, visual effects in the thing prequel were oh wow yeah there's some cool stills there we should check i didn't know that i believe it's something like that i could have some okay. of the details wrong but well, if you look up harbinger it, down there's a whole it thing looks like a, a thing rip off uh yeah i think i tried to watch it and i was really underwhelmed Hmm. But I don't think I saw the whole thing. But it's maybe we it's got a 4.6 it. on IMDb, so it's a little better than... It's uh, right in our wheelhouse. It's more than, yeah. yeah. more than yeah. Smith has, that's for certain. <laughs> I've got an I, IMDb page, guys. Do you actually? Yeah. Associate producer. Oh, oh shit. Nice. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, boy. Yeah. He's hit the big out. leagues. The He's film the big. can't make any festivals. <laughs> oh, so oh, 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 Hey, we might be on demand soon. There's Watch big out. news about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, you missed the pre-show. Oh, I yeah, I remember the news though. That was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. No, no, no. There's there's more news. There's okay. more news. There's always okay. news. Oh, yep. well, fine. So he also directed a movie called The Last Minute. Well, what's that? It's about a pop idol, the next art scandal. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Drawers and worlds of possibility open, then it all goes wrong. The cover says from the director Blade, The Last Minute, a film by Stephen Normington. And it says, bruises you like Fight Club, warps you like a clockwork orange, injects you like train spotting. Hmm. Okay. This is I bet it does none of those things. Yeah. That sounds, <laughs> yeah. sounds like I'm being tortured. <laughs> I think we're being and, lied and, and to. And it fucks you like a uh, Clarksdale or something. Like, where, where are we going? <laughs> like a <this>? dune bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that movie had a gross of three thousand dollars worldwide, so it's pretty great. All right, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. worldwide, it. nice. <laughs> yeah, that's that's woof, woof. Um, there's really not much else to talk about. This really is there? No, there's a lot to talk about. With I the mean, movie, there's a lot but... to talk about Death Machine, but that's going to be part of our. our yeah, I, I want to talk about the machine. Yeah. You dressed as Jack Porkins, and you're not even going to talk about him. Mm-hmm. Well, it it grossed a uh-huh, uh, one point four million dollars. Oh, wow. Uh, it has a two-hour runtime, which I guess is the director's cut. the director's mm-hmm. I wonder if this movie has a cult following. It was filmed in London, England. Is what I'd be curious about. I would think so. It feels like that kind of movie. I'm surprised it... it I'd be surprised if it doesn't. Yeah. But yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too. All right. Well, Aaron, that was, uh, that was mediocre. But it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. It wasn't was mediocre. It was actually, it was actually you know, it was pretty good, Aaron. I'm just kidding. Mm. You look sad. Mm. The film takes place in 2003. And it was this big screen debut for Rachel Weisz. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her one line. Yeah. 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 I was disappointed she was not in it more. Damn. (laughs) Rachel Weisz. I mean, I had already transitioned out of you, but then you started talking about the movie again for some reason. Chris, you please never say win. transition out of you ever again. <laughs> got to transition out of Aaron. Nude, nude bowling? <laughs> and we'll see. Uh, all right. Thank you, Aaron. Let's move frame. on oh, for and God's sake, talk make it stop. <laughs> about Death Machine. Here we go. Everyone, this is Chris, and just reminding you in the still of tonight to go to patreon.com slash bad moon night show and sign up for two dollars a month. You get access to the exclusive bonus podcast pre show as well as other bonuses. That's patreon.com slash bad moon night show. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> We are back, and we are talking about Death Machine, and Assface McGee, what did you think of <laughs> Death Machine? <laughs> Me? Yes. Oh, man, how did I become Assface McGee? <laughs> Same way I was somehow Mr. Loser. What the frick? <laughs> You're always Mr. Loser. You just never pay attention. <laughs> In real life, maybe. <laughs> it translates. You're a winner, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Um, fun movie. Um High energy, lots of action, you know. I, I even like, they even do those like classic tech sequences where they go into like the, the you know, the computer and you're like, ja, ja. I love that shit. That's so like 80s and park. 90s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, if like the the graphics. Um, yeah, it was great. It was a fun time. The kill sequences were really intense, especially in like that elevator when they're like, oh, he's coming through the floor. The elevator scene is the best. And they do the classic 
good way of doing this is they show very little as possible to like mm-hmm. really build the suspense as you go on mm-hmm. through the movie and then you get more reveal. Yeah, I really like this movie. It's a fun time. Um, you know, I love seeing corporate executives get murdered by a machine. That's just right up my alley. <laughs> so I was here. I was here for it. Completely. Fancy. All right. Aaron, what did you think? Um, yeah, I think I kind of feel along the same lines. I mean, um, this is cheesy and fun. It's got some awesome practical effects. Brad Dorf is just awful, but awesome in the same, you know, he's, he just is such, he's so good at playing that kind of character, the just creepy, disgusting bastard. And he just pulls it off so well. Um, I wasn't crazy about our lead. I felt like she just didn't have much dialogue or much of a character other than somewhat of a badass, I guess. I, had you watched the director's cut, you would have learned, Aaron, more <laughs> about her tragic backstory. Well, I know her bad story is she did porn or something awful. But, well, well, not awful, but it. he Aaron, was like, giving her crap about oh, that it. Even, a lot more that's to it. just mm-hmm. the tip of the iceberg, my friend. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe I need to watch that version then. Um, but otherwise, no, I, I like the, 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 the crew of misfits that <laughs> are hired without actual weapons, but somehow <laughs> turn into like these crazy warriors. I don't know. It's a weird. It's a weird movie. The tone is really odd. I I enjoyed it though. It's a lot of fun. Rebecca. Um. Yeah, I wasn't as big of a fan. Um. It jumped around a lot, and I don't know if that's because I watched the Plex version, but it was very disconnected, and I didn't always know what was happening or why. So I I felt like I was missing something a lot of the time, which then I guess I was, if so much of it was cut. <laughs> um, I mean, it definitely had its good moments, but it was it was hard for me to try to piece together what was happening. Okay. Lindsay? I love this movie. I'd seen it before, so I was really excited when you picked this one. Um, no, it's great. Steven Dorff, like, just runs amok in this movie. <laughs> He's, you can tell he's having so much fun. Brad Dorif, not Steven Bra- Dorf. Sorry, Brad Dorif. Um, <laughs> we were talking about Steven Dorf was in this thing. Oh, right? We were talking about Blade. That's, that's we were talking about no, Blade, no, no. so it got crossed. But uh, no, Brad Dorif. Um, and all the practical effects are so oh good. God. I love how this movie looks. The lighting mm. scheme in a lot of these scenes. It's 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 really fun. It's got a great sense of humor. I no, I I dig the Death Machine. Richard Brakeman, right? so underrated. Uh, have an actor. Yeah. He's great. He's so perfect good. as that role too. Yeah, R- R- Draco Malfoy. Oh, I can see. <laughs> yeah, basically, right? <laughs> <laughs> Slipped back. Uh, Spiv, what do you think? I th- I liked all the parts that people have talked about so far. I kind of agree with Rebecca though. I think it, maybe the editing kind of killed the flow at times. It was like too close up and too jumpy, and it was sometimes hard to follow, especially in the action scenes where you mm-hmm. you want to see that that machine clawing into people, and and you might get a little quick cut, and then a quick cut, and then a splatter, and and yeah. I, I wanted to just keep the camera still, guys. I know it's mid '90s. I mean, this was like peak jumpy cam kind of period. But the director's uh, cut has a lot more gore in it. it Damn does. it! I switched over about halfway through because I was like, you know, it felt like it was edited on mm. uh, Plex, and it was four by three aspect ratio. Yeah. So I was like, let oh, me yeah. check YouTube here. Maybe there's a widescreen version. And I came across the director's cut and watched the rest of it from there. And and it was it was better. Uh, mm-hmm. Just even just being widescreen. I mean, you, yeah, it it felt less jumpy. So. Uh, overall, I think it was a little long, uh, but uh, it was a fun ride. Yeah, I hear you about those some of the editing and the action scenes. It cuts mm-hmm. around so fast you can't you don't have time to like realize where you are again. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But I, but I also understand like we're cutting around the budget here. Like we yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. we, yeah. we have they, a, they mm-hmm. show the machine then and it's and it's cool. They it's they really seem cool. to have like most of a big one and then like a bunch of littler versions that they throw around at times. Mm-hmm. And when they show that little puppet, it's very clearly cheaper looking, I guess. Yeah. Like. The mouth, yeah. Yeah. But also there is I think what I love about this movie is it's it wears all its inspirations on its sleeve very heavily. You know, you got <laughs> yeah. aliens okay. The character names. Yeah, mm-hmm. all the, yeah, the homages. Scott Ridley and uh, yeah. John Carpenter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. But you have... Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. You, have, you have the aliens, obviously, influence. You got your Robocop and Terminator. 
and then I could see the hardware stuff. But mm-hmm. it, but it doesn't feel like a ripoff of that stuff. It just feels oh, no. heavily yeah. inspired oh, by yeah. it. An yeah. amalgamation. And so I love all those movies. So I fucking <laughs> love this movie. But tonally, it's it's a little weird, I do admit. Because it, it has weird dark humor and satire at times, like a Verhoeven type thing. But not mm-hmm. enough where you're like, am I supposed to think this is funny? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It felt very much like a movie directed by a special effects guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but I thought the writing here was good. It was. I think the story is interesting. Uh, the the corporate, dark corporate C- CEOs who don't care about life and only care about the bottom line. Mm-hmm. Then you have the new the new CEO coming in who has what seems to be some sort of morals to her. Uh, we're aware of a shady program that's already failing, which is the hard man. Mm-hmm. And we realize it's because they have this like weird scientist guy who's like their mastermind, but everybody's a fucking afraid of him at this company. Because he's a sociopath he's, and carries yeah, around 14 handguns at so- one time. <laughs> <laughs> right? He's a sociopath. He's cannon. And we, we learn quickly why there's a new CEO, <laughs> because the last one was killed by something in the building. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But getting so to the the sense of humor in this is extremely dark, but it's so funny though. Like <clears throat> there's a part at the end where they're out outside of the building and they're gonna you know jump into the the little thing that moves down the outside of the, the building, and it says it says like it, warning if you pass beyond this point you void your corporate insurance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know? And then she's looking through Brad uh, Brad Dourif's file, like all the awful things he's done, like the crimes he has committed mm-hmm. and everything. And then at the end, it, it's like uh, uh, so like up, uh, <laughs> eligi- yes, eligible for promotion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got so many little little details like that. I think that that make it pretty funny. And <clears throat> Brad Dourif's character is. It's pretty cool, I think. Well, and that's bad. But I think, like, he's interesting. Because yes. they they do the mastermind, Weasley mastermind, who's feeble kind of thing. But his weakness is, like, this woman that he, for some reason... Mm-hmm. He's like an incel. Like, he gets a yeah. little... He thinks this woman, maybe, at times, when she turns because she's playing him, and, like, completely uses mm-hmm. that against him. And he falls for mm-hmm. it every time. Every it's time. Great. Well, because when we first meet him, he's watching hardcore pornography and cartoons, yeah. and that pretty much sums up mm-hmm. the character. Like, right there. Yeah. That's how I met Spiv. <laughs> yes, like very violent cartoons. The Burger King break room. <laughs> watching that actually porn. makes sense. That would actually probably have happened. <laughs> my, my question about training CDs. Brad Dorif is he supposed to be like <clears throat> young? Because he looks like he's like in his forties. He's supposed or to be like a young hacker. I, I, mm-hmm. I took. But he doesn't look young. He looks like an old man He's wearing a wig. He's always looked pretty much the same age. Though. He was in his yeah. 30s when they filmed this, right? Was he? Okay. He just looked kind of old to me. I don't know. It, and the it wig. the hair. Yeah, the hair was clearly a wig. Do you mm-hmm. think Do you think a Peter Jackson saw wig. this and said, I need him in Worm Lord of the Rings? Oh, yeah. Movies? It's hey, very worm-tongue-y. It's an like, identical <laughs> costume in, in Lord of the Rings, yeah. Oh, and yeah, the long black the hair, hair and the, the cloak thing. Yeah. Well, especially when he's talking to some people because he gets very close and it, mm-hmm. the the he's entropy, yeah, the entropy monologue oh, he gives is so good where he breaks the pencil. Uh, it's Dude, so good. That's... He was born in 1950, so he was 44. Oh, wow. Wow. There's there's a young Rachel Weisz with Rachel Weisz mm-hmm. with an eyebrow lines. ring. Yeah, working for me, working for Chris. <laughs> <And> her two. <laughs> um, <laughs> the problem the problem seeing her was knowing who she was and then she's gone. Giving giving the movie <laughs> her like way more uh, importance than actually the movie ever did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. So I was like, what is? She, why does Rachel? Why is she coming back? Uh, I guess she's not. And she's but <laughs> she's off to film the Mummy. She's fucking <laughs> yeah. Up. yeah, actually, probably. Uh, but that scene with Brad Dorf and uh, Richard Brake mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. fan freaking tastic. And there's like, it's great because it cuts between them standing in the office and then you seeing this machine move so fast down these mm-hmm. hallways and the tension just rises. Mm-hmm. And when Brad Dorf is like, well, hopefully it comes and it kills you. And then, <laughs> then like, <laughs> like what? It's so good. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. I I watched this movie with Steph, and she was kind of bored through like the first 
it's for long. 40 minutes. It's, it's long. It's yeah, the pacing. I remember getting like halfway. I was like, oh my god, we're only halfway for this thing. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think for me, like all that world building stuff was I like that enough mm-hmm. that it kept me interested. Like that cyberpunkish. Oh yeah. When, when, we, it, when we see the cyborg punching the wall in the bathroom there, mm-hmm. I was like, ah, this is why Chris recommended the movie. <laughs> I know that you like cyborgs. Oh, <laughs> that was yeah. really funny. Awesome. I do love myself some cyborgs. <laughs> that was a cool scene. Good way to open the movie, too. Mm-hmm. It was a good way to, to show the hard man and the failures. And mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. And even when um, the lead lady is walking into the building and the flash bulbs are flashing and it flashes the words, the, the words on the protest signs, I thought that was a really cool yeah. effect how they did that because they would just flash it so quickly. But it was so neat. That was cool. Mm-hmm. So the difference in this scene from the director's cut to the version I watched is the original version that I watched was the cut down version. And when she goes to talk, the crowd gets quiet. Mm-hmm. But in the other version, the crowd stays yeah. loud yeah. the whole time. They're talking mm-hmm. the whole time. Which yeah. seems more realistic to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But the thing they add to the movie, which fleshes her out slightly more is also extremely distracting and weird really weird it is really weird She's okay i need hurt, to know because so i'm not gonna yeah, watch it again any time well she soon. has like a nightmare first where you get like the first semblance like yeah, she's I mean, kind she's got some demons issues. you know she's got some mm. she's got some baggage she's and it's just this metal hole and like <laughs> ropey blood muscly looking stuff and you have no idea what it is i gotta try and find it Kind of have an idea of what it might be. Well, you know it now. It's Richard Grieco. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty accurate, actually. Hard tech for a hard Um, world. It'll God. Yeah. So, but yeah. So her her daughter gets her arm stuck in the garbage disposal. Yeah, when she's giving her a bath. How do you do that? Yes. Well, it's all so it's all surreal. And then she the. Was I? Does she throw her like all in there then to like kind of dispose of they, the body? It's it kind clear. of muddy, but from my the, understanding, the baby lived. I thought. Yeah, but her family like disowned her there and it is. like. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Whoa. Oh, mm-hmm. well, I'll come I back. Thought, well, she said though, like then she's holding her and she's all wet and slimy, and she dropped mm-hmm. her to the floor. And, yeah. That's. I cool. thought she that's died. A, that's that, a cool so. shot. Yeah, what, what? but but the reason this the comes up disposal. is because. There's times where Brad Dorf references it and then at one point tries to guilt her and like tries mm-hmm. to rape her, which is also, I think, cut from the other version of the movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that wasn't in there. But then she has like this whole breakdown over this yeah. and she tells the story. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't. I, there's no like change after yeah. that happens, though. Like she's she's yeah. pretty one note through the whole thing. Yeah. As far as like she, character development. Mm-hmm. She's the like least interesting of the group. I think mm-hmm. that's my problem with this. She's the lead, and yeah, she, she just doesn't, didn't she give doesn't her, go anywhere. She's not like they want her to be like a Ripley, but mm-hmm. she doesn't have the career. Yeah, she doesn't have it. They that's made everyone else too interesting. I, that's like, part look, of it too. You know, <laughs> it overshadowed yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, big time. And it's, I don't think it's necessarily like she's a bad actress. It's no. just the character isn't. Doesn't it's stick not out, fleshed out, out enough. Right no. Here. I mean. Maybe if you would have went a little different direction than some crazy backstory of putting your baby in a garbage disposal. <laughs> they just wanted to show that cool. Like that didn't yeah, give me empa- built that. That didn't give me yeah. empathy for her. I was like, who the fuck? How do you put your? Ba- it wouldn't the water have drained. How does it? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Unless she yeah. literally tried to put her baby in a garbage disposal. Garbage disposal. Maybe she oh, did. Not that big. They're very she small. She washed now. her in the sink. That makes me. Yeah, more that's sense. what they said. Yeah. She was like, "I washed her in the sink. I walked away for a few." I'm like, "All right, already you're a bad parent." Yeah, like you when you're a baby, <laughs> how did she, sink, how how she turn away? on the garbage disposal? <laughs> I don't the switch know. Switch is right there, guys. The switch is just right there. Sometimes you forget. Some of them that even have that bo- the push button right at the sink. I have know, a push button right at the sink. Yeah. You know how many babies I put down that thing? Zero. Seventeen. Zero. You're missing out. Apparently, zero that anyone knows about. That's how you clean it. That's how you clean it. Limes, <laughs> limes work too, but babies work better. Babies are better, yeah. The bones, it helps uh, really oh, polish up those blades. What did you guys think of the robot? It's awesome. The robot yeah, really was cool. the best. Yeah, it's pretty of the movie. cool. It looks like a big mechanized ground sloth. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually pretty close. Yeah. When when they bring out like the big version through like doorways and stuff, it gives me the hardware vibes. 
Mm-hmm. Or when it that elevator scene is my favorite scene. Oh, it's so, so good. good. It comes through the floor. That's yeah, cool. that was really cool. It <laughs> digs into him. Press the button, buddy. Press the button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was intense. And then Plex threw a commercial right in the middle. Oh, oh. Sons of bastards. <laughs> so I, wa- I watched it on Plex, uh. but the ad blocker was blocking the video, but the audio was playing. <laughs> so they'd be like being, somebody being torn up by this freaking robot. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden they like freeze in terror. And it's That's like, funny. we bought a house today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's just the weirdest fucking thing. And it kept happening over and over again. The same commercial. Oh. Well, because there's also the B plot of the eco terrorists that break mm-hmm. in, yeah. the yeah. three of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that first scene where uh, they unle, you know, they cut into the, 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 whatever, where the death machine is and it yeah. bites the acetylene tank. Yeah. And you have that explosion. That dude who dies right there was the first guy who dies in Die Hard. I was gonna say, is that the guy yes. from Die Hard? Oh yeah, he yes. falls down the stairs and get his uh, neck broken. I yes, he looks like that. that guy. Yeah. My favorite part about that guy dying in Die Hard is he's wearing sweatpants for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> he's a terrorist. Matching, he's matching a top he's sweatshirt and sweatpants. Yeah, so he's phoning yeah. 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 it in. I mean, that's kind of how people dress nowadays. <laughs> He was ahead, ahead of his time. time. Yeah. Ahead of his time. In comfort. Dude, I went out and I am wearing sweatpants. So, there you go. Oh, wow. That guy's great. Guy with the red pants. Do the red you own sweatpants? Yeah. Who's I doesn't? don't own sweatpants. All right. You don't know how to live if you don't own sweatpants. I have comfy pants that are like fancy yeah, sweatpants, I but I don't wear them out because that's <laughs> insane. I got black Adidas like workout pants that are sweatpants, essentially. I got Puma ones, and these ones are just gray and very thin. Because I'm trying to get into that nudist lifestyle as close as possible. <laughs> Just steps, Slowly baby steps. steps. <laughs> Mine are like super fluffy. So with you, like if you like squint, you could probably see some stuff. As well. <laughs> I'm just, oh, just wow. throwing it Wait, out Is that there. with or without the clothing? <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, that's pretty good. Nice. <laughs> Another thing I love in this movie is the sound design. Like the sounds that the death machine makes, all the servos <laughs> moving <laughs> and going, all the, like that. Pretty near, cool, right? near, near. I heard the, uh, the fingers disturbing, though, because it's like just mm-hmm. like stabbing people to death with fingers just repeatedly slices but they're them like up. blades there yeah. and there's i know no it's, it's cool it's very violent but for some reason it's like disturbing to me oh I yeah it seems like a horrible like being like chopped to death mm-hmm. awful but being like just torn apart like <laughs> ah <laughs> while you're alive it's like going through a meat grinder while being alive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's or a garbage mm. disposal. Or a garbage yeah. disposal. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah, it all comes back. All I, connects. I did get some Nemesis vibes from this thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. With like that rocket mm-hmm. launcher. Of course, scenes. some hardware. Hardware vibes, in, too. That's in that movie. Um, this is what you want. This is what you get. What did you guys think of the hard men? They were it really a- cheesy. <laughs> Good. I thought it was an interesting thing, in thing because, like, she didn't know that they were experimenting on human beings and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And they didn't come up in the job interview. Evidently not. I like the the goggle thing. So, like, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> just free for duty, sir. <laughs> but the suit does look a little cheap. Yeah. <laughs> it reminded me of another movie we watched many years ago, like the first year on the podcast. But I'm struggling to remember what it was called. Mm. Paul, but there was, they were in like the desert. They all had these stupid suits with like the same shitty hmm. sunglasses on. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was that? I know I what you're talking about. It. Was that Thirsty Wasteland movie? No. Not quite. They had that vehicle, years. right? Um, they had all yeah, the shower scenes. So. All those shower scenes. Is it that one? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. The scenes. Was that the, the, uh, the, the Screamers sequel? Or not Screamers? No. <laughs> it was before that, wasn't it? It's like the first year know. we did this. So we'll, Anyways, we'll find out. Enhance. Where's Sean when you need him? I mean, the hard hard man thing was kind of cool. What it does is you you you. It's supposedly what they did was they found wounded war vets who were listed as MIA, and they would take them and wipe their brain, and then reprogram to just kill and be unafraid. Mm-hmm. I think that's cool. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it comes like, back at the end. They uh, use it to their advantage. I mean, it's kind of like Universal Soldier. Like, mm-hmm. not exactly original. Exactly the same. Uh, pretty <laughs> yeah. much exactly the same. But what it does is it gives you at least someone with a fighting chance against the machine in some ways. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's smart from a storytelling. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. But I didn't like the performance he did as it. 
thought it was funny. <laughs> it's funny, yes, but I'm like, what? Because <laughs> he just screams the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> his brain has been it's his, overloaded. His brain has been overloaded. overloaded. Don't worry, though, they, they back him up to a memory card. Oh, well, that's As you do. Just a quick SD card, so maybe you put yeah, that Yeah, I've seen there. transient. I don't know. You Could can go wrong. It. it can be done. I like how they have all this advanced tech everywhere and like cyborgs and a robot killing machine, yet they're still using VHS tapes. <laughs> That's what I actually cool. like that aspect of it, though. <laughs> I really do, because it, yeah. it, I don't know. It's, it brings you back. It I does. Just, I just dig the look of this whole yeah. thing. Look at this yep. fucking news oh, report. God, it's so goddamn, cool. it looks like an FMV game from the yeah, 90s. <laughs> <laughs> like these, these sets, uh, yeah. the lighting, the, the hallway sets and the, her office was Very cool. Nice. All of, Everything yeah. is yeah. so cool. The smoke That's machine cool. going overtime. Like, I, <laughs> this oh, is yeah, ridiculous. The, oh, the joints. <laughs> super joints. That what was the funny. fuck, man? What the I fuck? I forgot about that. The one guy has like a Hellraiser style, like all these pins. The other guy's got like a big one that it looks like a hot dog, corn dog. <laughs> and there's joints. Dude, if I could make a movie that looks like this movie nowadays, that would be fucking right? awesome. I love this style it. so it much. It looks so good. I don't know how you do it. I feel like you need to build these sets, which is expensive. Yeah, I think they yeah. filmed this one at Shepperton Studios in England. So, I mean, that's, that's a big yeah. studio. Man, that so cool. office space looks so cool. Like, the space, mm -hmm. just, everything's so cool back then. <laughs> 90s. He's like the Joker in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's very much a Joker type of character. Interactive TV, Jack. <laughs> he would have been a pretty good Joker, actually. He would have, yeah. 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 I could see that. We're talking Geraldo. I love that we said just this <laughs> weird lines he throws out. They're so funny. <laughs> the the uh, There's a couple of threads in this movie that do go nowhere, though. Like, they keep going back to these hard men people and every mm -hmm. time they're about to die or something they're Always like bring it about to the hard man it hurts or i'm <laughs> in pain or whatever yeah. and it's like really okay yeah. we get that this is already morally wrong mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. saying like you actually are still hurting well, doesn't they, really uh, change that with the guy in the bathroom at the beginning they established that there's a bug you know they're still working yeah the they, they overload thing. their system and then they yeah and then they die, die. yes yeah yeah so i kept expecting that guy to die see in universal soldier they fixed the problem with the cool down process they haven't mm -hmm. figured that part out yet in this movie mm -hmm. need some extra heat sinks <laughs> gotta get yes. some, some more phases of testing <laughs> another thing that's a little frustrating is they shoot the robot like seven kajillion times and it never does any damage to well, it. Yeah. The robot jumps off of the building, which is like mm -hmm. a thousand stories tall. Yeah. And it looks cool. And he's fine. <laughs> Why didn't they yeah, just take out I mean like the hydraulic lines or, or, or there's all right. these Exactly. All They're these bulletproof, Aaron. They're bulletproof. No. <laughs> How do you know? You didn't fucking build it. When they, you had door. They, no. they they shot eight thousand bullets at that thing. They should have hit a hydraulic. It needed thing. something like it self repairs or something like that, so that every time they kill it, it just gets have back up. Have you ever up. seen hydraulic lines that were solid? Girl, all I see is <laughs> hydraulic lines. Okay, in these sweatpants, highly compressed seeing? fluid into a <laughs> solid metal. Stop tube. talking oh, dirty to me wow. over there. <laughs> Jeez, highly compressed. Fluid. Don't make me go get my We're not. We're not nude balling right now. Okay. <laughs> we're not what? What are we? We're not, not nude balling right now. You got to hold up a bit. We bowling or bowling? Oh, nude bowling. Bowling. We could be nude bowling anytime you want here, AJ. That could be a bad movie. Is it glow in the dark? Because right, that'd Aaron, be fun. Aaron, do your dirty talk now. Hard metal tubes. What's in your oozing hydraulic with lines? Highly compressed fluids. Oh, Aaron. Of death. <laughs> All right, it's got weird because it's only me and Aaron and we're yeah, brothers. Yeah, so nobody else. Not the hell. This is like another gonna Wednesday, Wednesday night, night for you. Yeah, you got huh? weird, weird and incestual <laughs> in the way. <laughs> no, it was not. The, no, it didn't well, need to be. No, nah, it didn't need to be. I mean, it, it kind of came. It kind of went, went there. there. It, it didn't need to be. be. It didn't need to be. <laughs> Dude, I those set pieces. There's like. There's the elevator set piece. There's that long corridor hallway set piece. There's the the so thing many damn the, hallways. the the exterior elevator. What's that called? I forget what that thing was called. The window washer. Thing. Something window washer thing. Thing. that yeah. sequence. Then they have the vaults going into the vaults and stuff like that. The it was just cool. Every it was like, sequence. It was like a, it was like a get smart opening. You know, Where they have to open <laughs> up all the doors. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Who designed that final vault door that opens? 
Does it take like 15 minutes to open? Makes no sense. I don't know. It was to build tension. <laughs> yeah. Build tension. They built the tension, though, Spiff. And then they, they don't close it. Well, it was too so late. Of course they don't have time files. for that. I really wanted the hard man to say, get away from her, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting for that to happen. That would have been good. Mm -hmm. There's there's a point early on in the movie where she's in her office and Brad Dorf comes in and she like it makes us a, known that she puts it on a tape and records him. But nothing comes. What from nothing that. comes from that, right? Nothing. No. I think just the scene where he pushes the lights as he leaves. Yeah. Yes, I love that. That's so <laughs> <He runs good. laughs> good. And then they, they drop him down like 20 frames per second or something. <laughs> They're like moving. Oh, man. Uh, well, but at the end, she has like the tape of the hard man thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right. Also, Whoa. he also murdered like tons of people, did like <laughs> millions of dollars or billions of dollars of damage here. Like his tape is what's going to. But that play? way, that way they, the, the company can't like use him as a scapegoat. Like the company goes down too. True. That's true. That's how I took it. But hmm. that's true. I, I mm -hmm. grant you that. <clears throat> she kind of ruined her career, didn't she? A little bit. Dude, yeah. some people care more about humanity than their careers, Biv. That's right. It's a nice corn dog there. <laughs> was that a rubber chicken back there? <laughs> it was yeah, a rubber it was. chicken. <laughs> it was like a recurring little bit. That's so good. Chank. Chank. Chris, you need to work a rubber chicken into like a bunch of scenes in your next mm -hmm. movie. <laughs> I want to make this movie. I want to make Death Machine. I want to remake Death Machine. Death it would not be nearly That'd be cool. as good. Not be nearly as good. Dude. It's like uh, a delivery bot <laughs> that goes on a murdering spree. Uber eats you. I, yes. Mean, this is like, to me, this is like the perfect B movie. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It's got all the elements. Definitely. It's fun. It's cheesy, but it's cool still. And it shines. It's, I don't it's know. pretty well made, all, all Very well told. Made. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So no, I'm, surpri I'm surprised it's not more well known. Cause uh, I, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I, I only heard of this movie like maybe six months ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've definitely I've, seen the, the cover art on, like, mm -hmm. a shelf before. I, I've seen this movie a numerous times. Well, I watched it twice <laughs> for this podcast, but I also, <laughs> I've seen it before. But I didn't remember as much that, that I thought I did going into this, so it was fun. Uh, what'd you think about the the guy with the shuriken and his death? <laughs> shuriken! <laughs> Yeah, it was great. it was a little silly because he mm. hits his head. After all he's been through, that gets him because like he's mm. been shot and he's been think, impaled in the thigh, and then he turns around and bonks his head. And I guess that was the joke, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, could be. It well, was. I thought, it was I thought he silly. got a, he bonked his head and then he got attacked by the. Yeah, but yeah. that's he why just kinda, he got he attacked. Like, yeah, he like yeah. He accepted his fate. Right. We needed him like shoving a grenade into it or something. That gun was mm -hmm. cool. Oh, man, it's so yeah. cool. They should have two grenades in it, and it still didn't <laughs> die. Yeah, it, it it needed to show damage that it just never did, so it didn't make any sense. It limped they, a little bit? They blow its hand off. Do they? Uh, yeah. When? It's pretty late in the movie. It's right before. Af oh, it's when, after this. It's after this when down. When it catches the, when yeah. it catches the bomb? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm. So it's pretty late into it when they show any actual damage. That's like I guess technically it's still in the vault, right? Yeah, I guess so. It mm -hmm. blew up in there, but it's probably still yeah. in there. Yeah. Brad Dorf gets it. Stephen Dorf gets it. Because it, it feeds everybody. on Every, your fear. Uh, Every Dorf Mark is getting it. Mark Daskaskis gets it. Mark Daskaskis. <laughs> Daskasko? <laughs> oh, that was it. I started watching Brotherhood of the Wolf, which is a pretty small uh, movie. Man. And you know who's in that movie? Recently. Mark fucking so Daskaskos. Mark Daskaskos. <laughs> They the talked about the Fascos on the radio the other day about like the presidential election or something. Oh, really? Don't, don't really ruin random. him for me. I don't want him to be <laughs> ruined. Random. Yeah, let's not ruin it. Yeah, is he a Trumper? Oh, I don't know. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Russia <laughs> and Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Which 82-year-old do you want as president? Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Anything else? I don't think so. All right, When's AJ. our new bowling night? I'm ready to play a game. <laughs> All right, chill, AJ. We got to recommend the movie first. Yeah, uh, well, of course we recommend it. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> okay, AJ recommends it. Aaron, do you recommend it? <laughs> yeah, I do. Rebecca. Yeah, I'll recommend it. Lindsay. 
Yes, but watch the director's cut widescreen mm, version on YouTube. Yeah, the, wi- the yes. widescreen is Heed the warning. Yeah. Skip the Plex version. Skip the Plex version. Watch Heed it on warning. YouTube. Spiff. Yeah, I'll recommend this one. Some flaws, but uh, a fun one. Spiff, are you like a Power Man 5000 kind of thing uh, with your name, or what are you doing? like a Spiff Man 6003. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that like a Power Man 5000 cover band, or... <laughs> <laughs> this is movie of the year. Movie of and it's not going to win movie of the year. Here we go. Here, we go. Here, it Here it comes. It's too early for that. Here it comes. It's not fucking too early for that. Yeah, you start that in like October. Here it comes. Red, red scorpion. Red scorpion. Now ticker yeah. movie of the yeah. year. Best You're, movie. You want a ticker, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I want a ticker? Yeah, you love a ticker. Guys, can you let it die? You love ticker. You're always die. All right, time to watch ticker. You love it. You can't get enough of it. All right, time to move on. What? I don't remember. Dark Lurking. Dark Lurking. <laughs> no, you like that other horrible one, that, that uh, horror sci-fi vision? one. Yeah, horror horror vision. Vision. Oh, that, that, that was watchable. fucking terrible. Oh, that was what? the worst thing we've ever watched. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Get out of here with that. The worst All thing right. ever watched. Time to move on and play a game. Here we go. Game time, baby. Your theories are the worst kind. I'm trying to do your best to slap you. Your conclusions are high. Shall we play? Mm, All right. So oh, man. Ooh, there were shit. so God, many pools of 80s sci fi movies. Uh, we're we got this. Dive in. So much cool shit bit. there. Uh, what percentage of the Ghostbusters movie dialogue was mm. improvised? 65%. 34. Forty percent, twenty percent. This chick is toast. Actually, I don't know if any of it was. Maybe a couple. Ten percent. A lot of it. Ten percent. Uh, Eighty percent. Oh shit! Holy shit! Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why it's so that's fucking good. The basic idea, and just let them. Damn. That's why they'll never recreate it, and they just yeah. need to start. Where do these stairs go? Was amazing. <laughs> they go, go up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the rebels' troops on Hoth in The Empire Strikes Back were from what country? Norway, Sweden, Finland, or Denmark? Denmark. See, what? Norway. Denmark. Sweden. Norway, Sweden. I so, Norway. Well, no, but this takes place in a land far long ago in a faraway <laughs> galaxy. That's right. So none of those apply. Uh, they were Norwegian Red Cross. Oh, interesting. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the Wrath of Khan was God. the cheapest Star Trek movie. How much did it cost? I can make? imagine it being the cheapest. Eighty grand. F- uh, Ten mm. million. Uh, Six million. Five hundred thousand. Twenty million. It was twelve million dollars. They spent twelve million on that. Twelve million. How? That is a solid movie, guys. dude. Wrath of Khan is awesome. It's, it's a great so movie. Good. But no, no, no. But I mean, like, where yeah, did the money go? Earworm yeah. things in that salaries. Movie, <laughs> yeah. yeah, earworms were pretty cool. They had to pay um, Ricardo Maltabon's uh, fake yeah, chest. Dude, they had, they had to make him look. They had to make him look <laughs> so true. Native American. Again. <laughs> it's on. It's on HBO right now. Um, Nine Num spoke a tribal language of what African country in Return of the Jedi? Was it Senegal, Tanzania, Kenya, or Somalia? Uh, Senegal, Tanzania, okay, Somalia. Oh, gosh, I have no idea. Somalia. Somalia. It is that was, not offensive that they did that? Uh, it was Kenya, and they um, they were actually really happy about it. Oh, like oh they, that's cool. They love the fact hmm. that they they did it. So what does what does he say? He says this uh, movie I sucks. Forget. There was a <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's like, I, I should have been an Ewok. <laughs> I wish I was on Star Trek. <laughs> Uh, George Lucas made Star Wars because he couldn't get the rights to what comic strip movie? Dick Tracy, Flash Gordon, Dennis the Menace, or Popeye? Dick Tracy. Oh, Flash, Gordon. Flash, Flash Gordon. Gordon. Yeah, Dick Tracy, right? It was Flash yeah, Gordon. Make, that makes no sense. But... <laughs> Flash Gordon uh, had a sword? <coughs> Apparently. Everyone has a sword, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Spielberg had the children actors of E.T. play what game to see if they could get along? 
Monopoly, Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering, or Clue? Monopoly. Uh, Magic didn't the Gathering exist. didn't exist yet. I'm going to say D and D. Dungeons and Dragons. D and D. It was Dungeons ah. and Dragons. Classic. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. The uh, kid that was originally supposed to play Elliot apparently did not get along with the Elliot. other kids, so he Close. was Elliot. taken out. Steven Spielberg had taken a murder. out back in the garbage <laughs> disposal. Uh, how many feet tall was the alien queen in Aliens? 18. Like, like in, the act- in the actual movie or like in like the... Like the puppet. Uh, <coughs> 22. Three. 18. 20, 20 foot. It was 14, 14 feet tall. Okay. Get away from her, you tall bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And there you go. That was really good. Mm, that was a good nice quiz. Game. Thanks, Rebecca. You know the, uh, the scene in Empire Strikes Back where Luke is like walking out into the snow? Mm-hmm. They filmed that from the hotel door. <laughs> <laughs> Did they really? <laughs> it was so <laughs> cold that day they didn't want to go outside. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, time to cool. move on and do some listener feedback. Here we go. I suggest we read some listener feedback, sir. Make it so, number one. e mess. You tiny little e mess. You precious little e man. Where are you? Last week we checked out Highlander 2, The Quickening. Oh, yeah. yeah. Quickening. <laughs> Rainbird 88X. This is an awful sequel, but as a standalone <laughs> early 90s sci fi action film, it's actually enjoyable. That's a good take. I would agree with that. Change yeah. the character. So what it's was not the high. name? Ring could have been. What was it? <laughs> it was the quickening. Nude bowling. <laughs> no, uh, Rainbird 88X. Rainbird. Okay. Perhaps born in 1988. I don't know. I don't know. The three leads justify this film's existence. They clearly do not give a single shit. And it's a joy to watch. Yeah. Yep. Doctor Virginia Elton Madsen Taylor. not counting as a lead? Uh, I don't know. Sexist. He doesn't list the leads. There's three. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Uh, Dr. Elton Tyrell. Highlander 2, The Schlappening. That's <laughs> 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 uh, Again, Dr. Elton. As mentioned in the pod, there are three versions. The 1990... Home video, which a pan and scan is 89 minutes 53 seconds. 1990 bootleg video of the British version, which is letterboxed, which is 100 hmm. minutes and 30 seconds. And a 1995 home video pan and scan and letterbox is 109 minutes and 27 seconds. I don't remember which version I watched at this we, point. I think we watched the, the uh, Renegade the Amazon. version. Yeah, Renegade. The director's cut. Yeah, the Renegade Most version. That is a great ass song by Foreigner. What? Uh, sticks, you mean? Renegade? Sticks. Renegade? Sticks, sticks, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Jig is up. News is out. Yeah, that's a great song. Finally found me. Dave Black, what this movie <laughs> needed was Sean Connery appearing on Future Jeopardy, hosted by a robot. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Penis <laughs> mightier. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long has he been gone for? Oh, God. He died two years ago? Oh, that's Connery? It? Oh, more than that. Like more six than years? It's been years? like ten years, I no. thought. No, it was like during the pandemic. No, it was no. during the pandemic. Yeah. Was it? Really? I, think I it thought was he'd 20... been a while. I think he it was died. 2020. Hmm. October 31st, 2020 is when it was announced. Oh, wow. I thought it was longer ago than that. 2020. I slapped that COVID. Apparently he had dementia <laughs> You're sitting for two on a gold well. mine truck. Oh, that yeah. sucks. And then, you know what? Then that's a good thing. Dementia is awful. It definitely. Be dead. Uh, <laughs> it's just terrible. Yes, brain shrinkage. Dave Black alternate. So is Chris. That's why he wants to be <laughs> <laughs> something else is shrinking. Uh, alternate title. I was High... in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> High boner two. The thickening. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Um, That's why we need yeah. to start a new podcast. <laughs> These are the fans that we have. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Um, okay. Well, that does it for our listener feedback on Highlander <laughs> We're 2. We're going that 
with high boner too. <laughs> yeah, that's the end. That's the end. I, I think that good. fits. The thickening. <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, if you want to see more thickening, <laughs> tune into Chris's bowling. Uh, he'll be at the nude bowling leisure nude bowling. lanes. Yeah, he's bringing um, a GoPro. You get a suction cup into his head. <laughs> a suction great. cup into his head. Which head? Right. Which head are we? <laughs> I didn't specify. <laughs> Uh, if, if you want me to read your wacky comments next week, you gotta leave them down in the comments here for Death Machine. Chris, I love do we have the any voicemails? Titles. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I love the alternate titles. I love that people have kept that tradition going. We used to do that segment on the show. Yeah, we used to. Yeah, I got sick of being became... the only one that would come up with crazy perverted things and nobody yeah, else said yeah. anything. Tits and machine. And y'all just judged me. <laughs> yeah, we did. So why, why am I doing this to myself? Well, we That's could a just, bit of fun. Can we just train an AI on your old <laughs> Probably. titles and just oh, man. do that every yeah. week? Tits machine. <laughs> <laughs> that would be such Mine a Mine were error better than that. Come on. Nah, they were. <laughs> no, that's pretty spot. <laughs> it would be dead. And that's this is why good. I stopped. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you, Spiv. Yeah. Unfortunately... We have zero voicemails tonight in, in a uh, shocking uh, twist uh. of events. <laughs> there are zero voicemails. We should but, just kill that off since nobody ever uses it. No, we're not killing it off. It's just a thing on the site. Why the you? Why is your say, forever, first? Aaron. Why is your first thing always? Let's kill something kill off. Kill it. Kill it. Throw it in the garbage. Put it in disposal, the garbage. Huh? Disposal. <laughs> That's what can't, you need. You can't Chris. just let it live. It's got to be killed. You know you what need I mean? A garbage disposal page on the site. All right. Where you can, can go and throw stuff in. What do you want to put in there? Well, teddy bears. Well, there's a whole like Will it blend <laughs> YouTube thing. <laughs> They're like shove shit in the giant blender. Will wait, it I dispose? Oh wait, it's Rebecca's wheel. You're, right, you're, right, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. Two birthdays. What do we got? For Rebecca, right. what do you got? Can you Who's share next your... then? Who's next hang birthday? Hang on. Hang on. No, it's not my birthday. Oh. She won the I the won boat the Oh, you're the, you're the you're the Highlander. That's yeah. right. The, you're the McLeod. The only one. All right. <laughs> Let me know when I'm ready to open this. Go ahead. Oh my Slother God! You're making us watch Slaughter House. I've seen this. Is this what? In, sloths in the in name it? of God. I think they're sloths. <laughs> That's so stupid. Are they like regular sloths? I've heard it's actually sloths? pretty entertaining. Oh my god! <laughs> if you're interested, I could sell you that one. They're really that slow? Really Maybe quiet. they just took the song. In the jungle, she's a beta. <laughs> but out here, she's an alpha. What? <laughs> <laughs> <He's a wild laughs> animal. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm stopping it. Cool, cool. I'm excited. This will be fun. Uh, it's on Tubi. All right. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. All right. I have seen this movie already. I will make no comments on which way I lean on the slaughter house. Good pick, though, Rebecca. This should be fun to talk <laughs> this about. This fits next well into week. our New Year, New Us theme. Yeah. <laughs> Selling we watch out. more mainstream. Slaughter House. Selling out. New one of league. us. <laughs> one of us. <clears throat> Crusty jugglers. Slaughter House is what we are watching next week. Great available good. on Tubi. And it looks like Hulu, maybe. Um, oh, so. that's what I meant. It's oh, on Hulu. Hulu. It's on Hulu. Does it's everyone have Hulu? Hulu? I don't know. I Hulu. used to. Not have well, you can you can rent it on Amazon for six dollars. Okay. Holy six shit! Oh. Done. Put that in the Slack. Anyways, get to that. Didn't yeah. hear that. Yeah, from someone me. Slack us. That. Somebody Slack that. Then I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> slap it. <laughs> just slack it. Six dollars. <laughs> Jesus Good Christ. Good job joining the Slack. I can sign up for Hulu for six dollars. <laughs> six dollars. Fucking, I can be the free month of Hulu. Month of Hulu? <laughs> I can be like the fucking president of Hulu for that much money. Jesus God damn. Christ. <laughs> the movie stars Sidney Craven as Brianna. That's West a Craven. Related to West Craven? Family? She is, in fact, yes, Spiv, not oh, related wow. to West Craven. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if he had like an adopted <laughs> kid or something. Um. He probably has a bunch of kids, you know. Like a dog? Well, yeah, okay. He's probably shot them all out, you know what I'm saying? He's got kids everywhere. Just like Spiv. He he was gay. Mm -hmm. I don't think he had a lot of West biological Craven? kids. Yeah. Was what? He? He I was thought he was not... gay. No. I don't think he was. 
Yeah. No? I, I don't believe so. Was Wes Craven gay? Why are we <laughs> 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 is this how we're ending the podcast? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Chris has said he shot out a bunch of kids. That's why I was like, I thought he was... Where is Maybe our not. AI music? Gay community? men don't shoot out kids either. Like, what are you talking about? Chris, are, that's why I was trying to understand. I, 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 right. This was a simple question. We can move on. Any relation? Well, Wes Craven was married three times and they were all women. Okay. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean he's not gay. Mm-hmm. Aaron's married right. to a woman. <laughs> Just saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, Smith, what did you ask me? I asked, where is our AI music video, Chris? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I stopped doing that because no one thought they were funny. We all love I thought that. They were hilarious. Why did you guys yeah. didn't laugh a single? You didn't even give it like Aaron's, a little. Aaron's hmm. fake I documentary other one things were good one. too. That was fun. Those are terrible. I couldn't either. hear it because when it plays, it's all garbled on mine because I have shitty internet. Evidently, I like the yeah. one where Willem Dafoe right. turned into a cruise do? ship. That was but that was pretty actually stupid. Actually, turn into a cruise ship. <laughs> that was Without fine, action. except for it was forty-five minutes long. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I, really I've long. tried to get it. Never turned it. into a cruise ship. I can't get it to not this make them three minutes long. I don't know. I go and delete deck. scenes, and it makes the other scenes longer. I'm like, it's still cool though. I and I ask laughing. you like, how long do you want to make it? And I put in like no, a minute. No, I hear it you. Keeps 30, 33 minutes. Because I just in, hear the complaints. So in concept, know. like seeing Willem Dafoe turn into a cruise ship sounds pretty fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. I think it was just mad because he never actually did. Yeah. yeah. But they just they, described it. it but they so described weird. it. So weird. For five, right. For five hours. And I, I'm actually getting okay with it because that's how my life is gonna be at some point. Because I, if you guys don't know, I have glaucoma. And at uh, some point, you know. So you're gonna you turn to into a cruise, a cruise ship. <laughs> At some point, I'm going to turn into a cruise ship, I think. That's what happens. His crooked eyebrow would become the smokestacks. <laughs> <laughs> I thought when you started with crooked, you were going to go somewhere else than eyebrow. But His hair represents the fat, balding, <laughs> bowler's ass hair. Like... All right. That's it, guys. That's it on... Ooh, death, machine. Machine. death machine. Ba, 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 death machine. That's it on machine. Death Machine. Next week, uh, we are checking out The Slaughterhouse, available on Hulu. Check it out. Join us this next week. Then, but before then, you go to that iTunes. You know what to do. You furiously type iTunes.com slash bad movie night slash rate that shit. Give us reviews. You do it. You five star reviews. Five, you five out of five. You love it. I love it. Four out of five. I love that. Five. Four out of four. Steve Jobs ain't got nothing on the bad Tim movie Cook. that podcast. Nothing. Godzilla, King Tim Kong, Cook. whatever. Tim Cook, Tim Cook, Tim Apple. Who gives a fuck? They don't got shit on <laughs> bad movie. You do that, and that'll that'll make the day great for you. And then, yes. oh yeah. All right, that's fair. All right, that's it. We're done. We'll catch you here next week. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Bad Movie Night Podcast. The Bad Movie Night. Thanks for listening to the Bad Movie Night Podcast.